junkin fool over here in Porville. So I got one hole burned in there. Actually, I got a couple holes burned in here. Burnt my tip up. I had some, some thick stuff. And it comes right about that one. So the next one, I run out of oxygen. So I got to round that out right there. So I can get a bolt through there. I might just go with two on this. That stuff's so thick. And I probably need longer bolts. I got two inch. They'll probably work all right. I might have to just uh, weld the nut on there. So, so anyway, I'm doing a couple little projects around here. Just picking away at it. I got to go get some more oxygen if the place is even open. I think I'm going to put two in it because this is only going to be having to beam across it. I might put some more in later. I can lift it from the fork for my car rack. When I get it one done, I'll probably get a couple of them done, put the fork through there and take two of them out back and then do the other two and get this stuff out of the way. So I've been working on a few different projects around here, mostly playing around. See the price of the scrap tanked, which I knew was going to happen. Hopefully they get better, but I ain't looking, I ain't counting on it. Well, it's been raining the last couple of days. I've been working off and on around here. I've been cleaning a bunch of brush up that I've been going to do, cut a bunch of stuff. Let me try to put a garden out here. It's a little bit of a high ground. I'm not sure yet. And I find there's some scrap. Just a couple sewing chains and whatever else is out here. Some cords, some aluminum. I want to move this box over at the, over there by Don. We go toolbox there. That's a beast. It's heavy. I'll use that beast there to move it. What I want to do is put it on uh, basically like a pallet but with steel so if I want to move it from one spot to another I get my compressor and stuff in it I can I can uh, move it around without tipping it over so that's another project there's a sewing machine uh, I think it's arbor press there or something I can't remember what they call them that was all freed up when I first got it. it's been sitting around here somebody's asking about that for reloading shells a while a long time ago So that's a couple things I've been just picking away at. Trying to occupy my, my time around here. Trying to stay out of the population the best we can. Which is not too awful bad. I'll take a little stroll out back here. This morning I was out here trying to get the ignition out of this car so I could see if I could get this motor started. That's the guard dog there. Yeah, I got a lot of projects. Just to, not enough ambitious to, to get to them a lot of times. I can blame it on the rainy days or whatever. I've been cleaning over here too over the last week or two. So yeah, I lost the key to this. I was out here with a drill and a hammer and a chisel and I got it where I can turn the engine over. All kinds of broken glass in here. It swept me a spot up there and some scrap in here. Yeah, this, this one, when I first got it, I thought the engine was set up. And I noticed the starter is on it. A new starter. I've seen the old one. I looked under there and there's a new one. And I had it flipped up on the side and rolled it over. And Before I lost the key, I tried to start it and it just clunked. I thought maybe it was a 
rod or something, so it must be something in the wire or the solenoid or something. I want to get it running and clean it up, get the glass out of it and beat it around here for a while. Maybe sell the engine. Supposed to be a good high horsepower engine there. I already scrapped the converters, I put that in the video, but so it's got the ignition popped out though. Got a little rough with it moving it around. That's okay. I got what that one broke the bead. So if I'm gonna beat it around, well you know I may have to try it with flat tires too, but I'll probably bead them up. Could fix it up and drive it on the road, I don't know. Clean the trunk out. Yeah, keep getting a bunch of people asking me about that zero turn there. I ain't seen no money yet. So yeah, this is a junkin' fool over here in Portville, just out and about. Take a little stroll, show a couple projects. Get that truck over there. He's pretty much just it's got a lot of good parts on it. And no no engine in it. Well the engine's actually right there. It won't come out of there. There's the stuff I unloaded the other day. I keep trying to widen this and moving it back. Get in here and get this stuff in a pile and let it set and rust away, I guess. And we might take some in eventually. I guess it's worth a little something yet, but I think we're down to like 50 a ton here. I've seen it lower than that, but and I was saving this sink here, this stainless steel sink. Actually, I had a couple guys wanting to buy it, and I thought, nah, I'm going to save it. I'm going to make something to tear stuff apart. I see that tree right there fell on it. Some commercial sinks, you can get pretty good money out of them. Actually, something like that I would like in my own kitchen. Maybe not with that den in it, but I just like the commercial kind of stuff like that. Hope everybody's doing okay. And the project, I just go from one to another one, but I really want to get this crane here going. Even if I just use it to pick stuff up, and if I get this outrigger out, it'd be nice. I've been trying to figure out how to get that thing out. For a while, I got it to move a little bit, but she definitely froze in there. But you can see where I've heated it took the bed off. Well, actually, I sold the, the bed to it, the flat bed. So I haven't tried to heat it since then. Before, I was heating kind of the edge of it. But what I did before with the one forklift I had, I put this on it. That is really heavy. Guy down the road had a mobile home. He brought them down here. They were the tie downs for the mobile home. And they got rid of it and he dug them up. And I got like five or six of them around. I was going to make a fence or something with them. But anyway, I had that on my forks of the one forklift. And coming through the other side of that, I was ramming this beam right here. Through then, you can see that's bent. Bent that beam. Coming through the other side, tried to shove that thing out. I did get one side out, so I think I'm going to strengthen that, get a different beam, heavier, weld two of them together that'll fit in this hole over here, and then try that again with this wheel loader. Now before I had this truck all four corners, or two of the corners chained right to two trees, so it wasn't given none. Put that 
beam in there and see if I can push it through this way. I've tried power poles, bought a brand new power pole, 10 ton, and busted it, bent it. So what I got this piece here made up. I'm gonna weld my beam right to that, come back about four or five foot, and I'm gonna put another one of these there and weld it to that. Get out here where I can get a nice push on it. And I'm gonna heat the heck out of it. See if I can get it to move. Just another uh, thing I got around here that I bought. And spent a bunch of money on it. My plan was to use it because <laughs> I tend to get a lot of heavier farm machinery here. I used to when I advertised. And when I get all this stuff caught up, who knows, I might try it again, but I don't think the price is going up anytime soon. So yeah, I put that big old concrete thing up here on these forks. Could probably put two of them on here. You gotta make sure your pipe is longer than your fork, so you're ramming with. Chain it on there good. Ram her into her and see if it's moving. But I've been soaking it. I've had, I've tried everything I could think of. I've had uh, fuel oil in it, motor oil, transmission fluid all mixed together. All the stuff they sell for rust, for breaking up rust. People try to try this. And I mean, I spent all kinds of money trying to find stuff that would uh, break that rust loose. I was in there with a air wrench trying to sandblast inside there through a brake line I rigged up trying to break the rust root loose anyway these projects the junk and fool gets into crazy now this is going up for sale I'm going to be dragging this out up by the road here pretty soon that and there's the the um, deck to it that one's going up for sale Don. Don wants to get that car going. I was going to put a chair on the hood or something, let him take a ride with us. Ripping and tearing around there and see what he thinks of that. Well, there's another tour of Porville. Ain't much change, but we are picking away at some of this stuff around here. No big hurry, I guess. But So thanks for stopping by Porville. Hope everybody's having a great day. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Time took me to go see if I can find some videos to watch. Goodbye now.